In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the backend configuration of the mobile app. Hi, and welcome back to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the backend configuration of the mobile app for the Android devices there. In the previous video, we saw how the uh, mobile application appears to the customers at the Android end there. And we saw how the banners, carousals, featured product, featured categories, notifications, and the external links appear on the mobile end there itself. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be seeing the same and we'll be seeing how we'll be able to create the banners carousals, featured categories, featured products, push notifications, and how we can set up the external links in the admin market panel there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's head ahead and let's go to the admin market panel of the WooCommerce and let's see how the different configuration settings can be set up for the same. For the same, let's hop onto the WooCommerce backend panel now. So right now you can see on your screens that, that I am on the admin backend panel of the WooCommerce uh, web store there. So well, initially what I'll be doing is first we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the login button thereafter. So let's tap here on the login button after entering the details there. And after we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel on the left hand side, you'll find one option with the name MobiCool. And under MobiCool, you'll find banners, carousals, featured product, featured categories, notifications, external links, and settings. So before going through the first uh, around six options here, let's go to the settings option initially. So under the settings, what you need to do is you need to set up the Google authorization key and the user ID and the password for the mobile app there. And then you need to tap here on the save changes button. After you're done with this particular section, then you can come down to the banners section. Now here you'll find the complete list of banners that you've already created. Uh, to add a particular banner, you can tap here at the add banner button that you can see at the top end there. And uh, the banners that you've already created, you can trash them out or you can edit them up as well. And here you can see that we have set the banner type as category. The banner type can be of the product as well as of the category type itself. In the previous video, when we saw the mobile application there, when we were tapping on the banners, only the category banners were available there. So today I'll show you how we can create the product banners as well. So to create a banner, what you need to do is uh, you need to tap here on the add banner button. And uh, that would basically bring up the particular section within uh, the very first thing that you need to do to create a particular banner is to add a particular image for the banner there. So you have to add the image by tapping here on the upload button. The image would be uploaded. Then you can choose the banner type, whether the banner type should be product banner, category banner or the image banner. So um, I'm just going to correct myself. I said that we had only the product and the category banners, but we also have the image banner only that displays the particular image only and tapping on which uh, the customer is not redirected to any uh, particular link uh, as set up there. Now, if you are creating the banner type as product, then what you need to do is under the product category here, you have to select a particular product. And if you are choosing this as a category, then under the product or category here, you have to choose uh, the particular category where the customer should be redirected to. And then you need to set up this task for the same as enabled. And then you need to tap here on the save button. After you have saved the particular banner, the banner would be listed under the banner section here. And after saving it out, you can edit it up as well by tapping on the edit. And here you can see that we had uploaded the image. The banner type was category. So we have chosen the category as book. And we have set this status as enabled. If it was a product banner, for example, then we had to select a particular product there, for example, uh, product. And if I would have updated it, then this particular banner would have been uh, created as a product banner there. Now, coming down to the carousal section. Now, apart from <coughs> the uh, <coughs> what we say as the carousals that are available there, like the uh, latest products. Uh, you can also set up uh, different uh, carousals there for the home page of your mobile application there. So what you can do is you can create hot deals, uh, latest offers, uh, a winter uh, winter sale or uh, 
black friday sale for example like these carousels can be created and you can set them up on the home page of your mobile application there for the same what you can do is you can create the carousels under this particular section and those carousels would then be available on the mobile and home page there now here you can see that i've already created two different types of app carousels one is the popular categories and the popular products and uh, the types of the carousels are category carousel and the product carousel now to add a particular carousel what you can do is you can tap here on the add carousel button at the top and that will bring up this particular section where you have to give the carousel title that will be visible on the mobile end there and then you have to choose the type whether the carousel would be of the product type or the ca uh, categories type if it's of the product type then what you need to do is for the product category here you have to select the products you can add multiple products as you can see for the carousel for example i've set it as hot deals of the day the type is products uh, the carousel type is products and the product uh, uh, the different uh, products on the hot deals are Apple iPhone 6, Gold and Silver and Samsung Galaxy S5 Black and I'll set this status as enabled and then we can tap here on the save button to save the particular carousel there. So you can see that the carousel has been saved successfully. Now if I go to the carousels here, uh, I'll be able to see the hot deals of the day. Now in the same uh, manner, you can create uh, the carousel for the categories as well. So for example, let's set it as Black Friday Sale. And I'll choose it as categories as the carousel type and then we can select multiple categories uh, which we want to uh, enable within this particular carousel there and the products from these uh, categories would be available within the Black Friday sale carousel that we have created for the home page there and we need to set it as enabled and we'll just tap here on the save button to save the particular carousel. Now, if I go to the carousel here, you'll see the particular carousel. Black Friday sale is displaying the products from the different categories that we had selected. And the hot deals of the day was of the type products. And the products that we had selected are visible here as well. Now, coming to the featured products. Now, you can also set up the featured product section on your homepage there. And you can list out your featured products there. Now, here you can see that I've already added a few featured products uh, that are visible to the customers on the home page of the mobile application. To add a featured product, I need to tap here on the Add Product button. And uh, then we'll be redirected to the product section uh, where uh, we'll be able to select a particular product uh, for uh, making it as uh, the uh, what we say as the featured product there. After selecting the product, or you can create a new product as well, and then you can select it up and you can edit uh, to create the featured product there itself. Now come down, down back to the MobiCool section here. Uh, now let's come down to the featured categories. Now on the home page of the mobile application at the very top, you saw that uh, we were able to see the uh, featured categories that have, were set up by the admin. So to set up the featured categories, what you need to do is you can see that uh, we have already added the featured categories that are visible within the mobile application and to the customers to add a featured category you just need to tap here on the add featured category button then you have to set up the sort order you have to select the uh, for example let's choose it as home and entertainment the status as enabled let's tap it as save and you can see now the category has been saved successfully as home and entertainment now if i go to the featured categories home and entertainment would be listed here now we had created a new one uh, so the home and entertainment is someone um, uh, like the first four that we are having here having the sort order as one one of them is the home and entertainment as well might be this one might be the home and entertainment one the number with the category id 84 that you can see here let me edit it out yes this is the home this is the home accessories basically and if I added the other one, that's the number 77, that's the books. And uh, let's tap on the first one, that's the camera. And then we have the 23 number. That's uh, the 23 number is the home and entertainment one that we had added as the featured category there. Then we have the notifications and in the notifications you can see the complete list of notifications. If you remember in the previous video for the mobile application, I showed you these uh, 
uh, what we say as the uh, the uh, push notifications and I showed you the push notifications can be of the product type or the category type if it's of the product type then the customer is redirected to the particular product page or if it's a category type then after tapping on the push notification the customer is redirected to the uh, respective category that has been assigned to the push notification there now uh, here after creating the push notifications you can tap on the send notification to send the push notification onto the uh, uh, devices there um, on the mobile devices there and you can edit or trash any of the created ones apart from that to add a notification you just need to tap here on the add notification button and uh, you, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to upload an image for the notification then you need to enter the title the content of the notification you can choose uh, the notification as a product one if you select it as product then you can select the product uh, to which the customer should be redirected to otherwise if it's of the category type then uh, what you need to do is you need to select the particular category to which the customer should be redirected to and choose the status as enable for example and then uh, you need to tap here on the save button to save the particular push notification so this was about the notification then we lastly we have the external links now here if you remember when we were checking out the mobile application on the bottom right hand corner we had the option of the three dots there tapping on that would bring up the particular section where we were able to see the uh, what we say as the different external links that were added and the external titles uh, that were set up by the admin from the backend panel like for the privacy policy shipping policy uh, payment policy etc now here you can add multiple links as per your own requirement by tapping on the add row for example payments uh, uh, payments for example uh, i'm setting as uh, payment uh, payment methods here uh, so for example if you remember we had set up the my account shop and welcome and we had added the different links for the same so whenever the customer were tapping on the particular title under the external links there they were redirected to the my account shop and the welcome page same goes with the payments and the terms and conditions as well so you can give the links for the terms and conditions as well and uh, you can add multiple rules as per your own requirement there there's no uh, limit to that and then you have to tap here on the save changes button to save the particular changes so for this particular section i don't have the higher level of uh, access so that's why this particular section was not saved there so yes that was much about the backend configuration of the woocommerce mobile application and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries or suggestions regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.